What's happening, people? Welcome to another episode of the Wind Rush podcast. We've got Carl. How you doing, Carl? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Cam, how you doing? Perfect, bro. Mali, what are you saying? Blessed and highly favoured, you know, them we <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so today we're going to jump into a chat about, you know, societal and traditional norms when it comes to relationships. Obviously, we've got four married men on the podcast. We've got a particular topic. Um, we're going to watch a little video. I'm going to read out a little bit of research. I mean, it's going to talk about our um, individual views and opinions on, on this particular topic. So uh, let's go. I love you. I love you too. I wouldn't confess my love to you. Okay. You don't like No, no, you're not serious. You're not serious. I'm serious. What are you doing? No, 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 get up, get up. Will you bury me? Get up, get up, What do you mean, get up? I'm not going to let you close your door. Also, you're going to get down on your knee and close to me? You're going to scream. No, what are you doing? Why are you making a scene? What do you mean, why am I making a scene? I'm asking you to marry me. Okay, but how would you make me? Okay, then we'll get down on your knee. Look, we have already been together three years. Why are you doing this? What do you mean we only been together for three years? If you don't ask me to marry you, then I have to ask you to marry me. So what are you doing? Are you making a scene? I'm not making a scene. What are you going to do with the friend? Put it, get down on your knee and marry me. No, I'm not. Propose. Look, this is too much. Okay, you can have your ring. This is too much. Oh, no, you got people with Wow. Uh, <laughs> let me pause it there. Did you guys, did you guys catch the audio? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, I did a bit of research, right? <clears throat> this is as of February 20, 2021. So, so when it comes to who should propose, many people still follow the traditional model where men do all the heavy lifting. Survey, surveys have shown that women proposed in only around 5% of heterosexual married couples. And some, um, and sure it's a tradition, something that is very important to a lot of people. So I guess the opening question is, um, I, I'm assuming that I've made a, a sweeping assumption here, yeah, but I'm assuming that we've all proposed to our wives. That's my sort of foundation. Correct me. Correct no. Marvin. No, no. Chantal proposed all right, cool. to me. All right. So, okay. You, you go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, it's rapid. Okay. I'm rapid still. I like the way oh, you're, you're adjusting what you're about to say. No, no. Because I, no, I was thinking about this, right? And that article goes on, I won't let like, sort of, um, I'll share the article in the link, but it just talks about, you know, traditions and norms and societal norms. And, you know, one of the reasons why there might be a sort of stigma attached to it is the view of like a woman asserting herself and all this sort of stuff. And I thought that's absolutely, in my opinion, I felt like it's probably nonsense. If someone had asked me without reading the article, I'd be like, mm, it's not for me. But then when you, you know, when you think about these things a bit deeper and you think, well, why not? Sort of thing. So I just wanted to get your view. So come, let me hear, let me hear. Obviously, you you say you proposed. If you're in the situation, <laughs> if you're in the situation, uh, <laughs> or you're the man in that video, how, how do you think you'll react is the first question, I guess. Right, you find that geezer in that, in if that you're in that geezer, that, that, it's, that's it's definitely, you know. It's, staged, it's staged nicely. Staged. Very synthetic. Um, um, if I'm the geezer in that video, bruv. I, I know you gotta say, say yes. yes. Now you gotta say yes and then talk it out after, man. You can't leave somebody so humiliated down on one knee. What's that about? Them two people, yeah. If that's a true, let's assume that's a true situation. Them two people mm. need to be having better conversations, man. Surely <laughs> that shouldn't be a surprise. By the time you get to that point, you've had the conversation. Like, what's your goals in life? Do you want to get married? Are you looking to have kids? What sort of timelines are we looking at? Surely you've got to have them. Them, them important mm -hmm. conversations. There should be no surprises in relationships. Have work right? or not. Have work so in, what, in, 
and in, in, in agile work in the Frederick, agile work field. I mean, seriously. <laughs> but seriously, we should be having then conversations. Yeah. I was questioning if if we get to that eventuality where either the man or the woman is proposing and getting rejected. I feel like mm. there's some steps that should have happened before that point that never happened. Some 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 very some very uh, fundamental conversations. Nobody should be getting surprised doing them important that actions. Is. But <clears throat> I guess for me, yeah, there's a bit of symbolism there. So I, to just to finish your point, if that is you and you say yes, are you wearing the ring? Because she put a ring on his fingers. So are you wearing the ring? Marvin's getting techie, man. I thought we weren't being controversial ones again. No, it's, uh, it's, okay, think about it. Carl, I know, I know, I know, bro, I know. So, so bro, I'll, I'll put it out there, man. I'm quite old school. I'm trying to be more progressive and, and adapt to 2021 and, and be a bit more fluid with gender roles. But for me, being born in the 80s, 80s baby and that, yeah? Bro, I don't know if I could put on... Nah, man, I'm not having it, you know? <laughs> but again, I think, I think that's my failing. That's How me, you not me. How do you feel if you were proposed to with, with a man engagement ring, but she gave you a watch? Oh, mm. why are we even doing this, man? It's long. I'm, just asking you a question, man. Man. I'm not on any of it. I'll, I'll be honest with you, bro. I'm not on yes. any of it. Nah, because I just okay. feel like. But but this isn't. Okay, so this is two things, man, and I'll, I'll pass them out. This is me not being progressive enough, and B, this is me not having. If if I do find myself in that circumstance, this is me not having the proper conversations with my missus to where she mm. thinks mm. that it's something that mm. I'd be okay with. She's gonna mm. get down on one knee in mm. like on Oxford Street in a public mm. place and mm. put a ring or a Rolex on my hand. Nah, man, yeah. I'm not having it still. Yeah. I just don't, right. it's not me. It's not It'll me. It's easy to understand why because I think. I don't because I told you already, Lito, because I'm not progressive enough, and I'm just yeah. I'm still yeah. I don't, the okay. the whole way around is important. I'm still rooted. I'm an '80s baby, yeah. Mm. I'm still mm. the, the gender, good, gender and the old gender dynamic, dynamic still means something to me, bro. That shows that you're principled as well, because let's not also forget that when you propose to your partner, you've got to put X amount of real life pound sterlings into purchasing that. So you're actually by being traditional in your sense, or not being progressive, you say you're actually financially worse off and you don't have a nice little shiny thing to show up about it as well but and it sounds like for you and it could be for me because i'm i was past my views in a bit that there's also uh, an issue of the power dynamic here because it's about she's asked you to do something they raised it quite well she asked him to do something and it takes the choice out of your hand and you said i wouldn't embarrass the person by saying no but you then you then lost control of when you're getting married, who's doing that thing, or at least when you're making that union stronger. So yeah. there's also a power dynamic in there as well. Me too. I, I, I disagree with that. I feel like as a man, when you bend the knee and, and ask your your future wife's hand in marriage, I feel like I've always felt like you're empowering the, the woman, right? That that's that's a very vulnerable position to be in as a man because you could still get lucked off obviously you do the due diligence and hope that everything's going to be okay and you get a yes but in my mind that's empowering your your future life partner and that's why i did it plus the shame of how am i going to go to my mum, who's even more old school and less progressive than me in 2021 <laughs> how am i going to go to my mum and talk about how my missus bought me a ring and proposed to me in a public place well, bent the knee and here's the footage how you you, you not told me how that, from, how's that conversation going to go you, with my mum you need to manage your managers bro and re realign your stakeholders expectations i was gonna, I was gonna say in that scenario <laughs> what if what if your mum was like yeah she came and asked for your hand for marriage <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carl, 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 Carl. Let me let me hear your thoughts before we dive into too 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 deep. Um, so, like, it's a, it, it's like you say, it's a techie one. How do I feel? I mean, could you repeat the question for me? So I can see. I guess I'm so. Like, I'm starting starting very high level. So if you were in that video, I guess mm -hmm. what would your reaction be? And the extra bit of sauce, would you wear the ring? So forget okay. the watch. So no. would you wear the ring? Um, would I wear the ring? I don't think so i don't think i'd be comfortable with i don't think there's anything wrong with it but i think like cameron i'm too entrenched in it's a rite of passage like you we grew up with watching certain movies where the dad's teaching his son to do his first shave and they go for the first pint mm -hmm. him and the mum or dad are pushing their kid up to ride the bike i think the whole proposal thing 
or a process is something that I would like to experience from my point of view. Mm -hmm. um, and she raised a really good point, which was, I want to get married. If you're not going to propose to me, you're not going to ask me, then you've got, then I've got to ask you. So I think if I've decided to be with somebody for the rest of my life, and I haven't asked that question yet, the failure is on me, and the failure is on me. And it's either I'm arrogant enough and say, well, then let's end the relationship because I don't want to be proposed to. Or it's, I say, let's do it later. But either way, I don't think I'd feel comfortable wearing a my engagement ring. Now, if she said, Carl, I want to get married, and we talked about it, and she said, I want to ask you, as a, as a gesture of my love in this proposal process, you've bought me a ring. I'm going to buy you a watch. That watch is getting worn to work. That watch is getting worn to the shops or anything. It, it, it's going to be there. Um, but there are a lot of other, I think, issues around it in terms of the gender roles. Um, should it be acceptable? Yeah, it should be. I spoke to my wife about it, and her views were, you know, I wouldn't have asked you. I wouldn't have asked you. Mm. But I was also happy just not to have been married. We wanted, to, we wanted to have that solid relationship. So it's that thing. The other thing is, I spoke to someone else in another group about this quite a while ago, so it's quite serendipitous that this turned up. And it was... If it was left to women to propose, there'd be a lot of marriages that would be happening that wouldn't last. Because a lot of men will just sit in a relationship they're not happy with because mm. they don't want to break up with somebody and act like a douche to get dumped. But if the woman put it on them, they say yes, they, didn't, they wouldn't want to say no. Mm. So I think when the fact that men, generally men ask women to get married, it's when the immature, generally immature man in a relationship has reached a point where he's understood where the woman's been for quite a while. I think it's quite it's quite rare if you take camera that you'll propose to somebody and the person the woman will say no. She's been waiting for this for maybe six months, a year, two years. She'd reached that point already with the biological clock coming in as well and the pressure from family and pressure from society. So if women were asking for things, you could say there would be a lot of marriages that, that didn't work and um and a lot of divorces, a lot more divorces I reckon. So I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it and I would step up to the plate. Can I can I ask sorry Point. to interject? Can I ask you a question, Vito? What, why wouldn't your missus have asked you? Did you ask her why? I did, I did, and oh. she kind of just like kind of poo pooed the conversation. And it's because we had a conversation before where we'd already, we like you said, we had a conversation before that we'd already ascertained where we wanted to be in five six years and what was important. So when we had that conversation, although the although the step moving forward was fantastic and amazing we already knew our feelings for each other we already knew the commitment we had for each other so she didn't need to do that and i think also to a degree she's quite traditional as well and she would have liked to have the thing where she was proposed to and when i did propose she loved it i loved it i didn't feel i was empowered i think i did i was empowering her but not in a weird way in more of a like mm. i'm professing how much you mean to me i know you know how much you mean to me but now it's a next thing um so she wouldn't have asked me because we already knew where we were, and I just don't think that she would have been that way inclined. So do you so think it's a well. si similar thing for me, Lito? I think my, if you speak to my missus now, she she would have never asked me. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't on a long thing. And I oh. think if, and if, and if, I think if I'd been more progressive, I think my missus would have happily like long before my my long thing expires. You probably would have got down on one knee and asked me, but but for my being so such a philistine with my ways and an old jamaican and now i can't have no girl but for that <laughs> yeah. i think chantal potentially would have would have asked me potentially uh, hold, hold that thought carl, carl let me just bring marlon in marlon um reaction to the video um and again if that was you how would you feel and would you wear the ring assuming you would say yes so go for it uh, so reaction to the video, um, very interesting um, in the sense that the man just feels very, very uncomfortable. So I can't, I, I don't know why he feels uncomfortable, whether there's a conversation to say, listen, I need to get my life in order before I propose to you. Once my life's in order, I'm going to propose to you. And I get a sense that she's just trying to force through the proposal expedite um, the process exactly exactly that's 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 what i get from it and i think coming back to whether i would wear an engagement ring i probably wouldn't to be honest with you mm. and uh, i know so one of my friends 
um, proposed to his partner and he messaged me and he said, oh, like when you propose to your partner, is the man supposed to wear a ring? And I was like, I know where this is going. <laughs> I was like, traditionally, the man doesn't wear a ring. I was like, but she can get you a watch or something because that's like a big thing in America, isn't it? So then the next time I saw him, I saw he had a ring on his finger. And uh, I was like, oh, that's very, very interesting. But then if you start to think about what does the ring signify, mm. it's very interesting. And why should a man not wear an engagement ring, but the woman should? Mm. So I find that to be very interesting. And I do know of a lady who has proposed to a man and her dad is not having it. He's not happy. Like yeah. till this day, he doesn't like the husband. Um, and I think it's interesting if you have a daughter, the hopes and dreams for me anyway, that I have for my daughter, it's not that she's going to propose to a man. I want someone to meet her, uplift her, treat her like a princess or or queen so for me for a woman to propose to a man it's really technical so you think you think those things are mutually exclusive that's interesting let me come back to that later one, no, one no, thing no, I wanted, that, no 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 in the that. sense of no, because <laughs> you're saying that you for your uh, maybe i'm putting words into your mouth so correct me if yeah. i've misunderstood you but you ended up by saying that these are the hopes and dreams you have for your daughter. You want her to be adored, worship, da 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 da. And what my takeaway was that if she proposes, that goes out the window. Is that not what you're saying? Not necessarily. So I do want her to be adored. I do want her to be put on a on a pedestal. But if my daughter is with a man that's not going to propose to her, then she shouldn't be with him. That's that's just what oh, what I feel. Money. Techie Miley. Oh, well, let let, let, let me hide. Hold, hold one, 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 one second. One second. Right, right, right. I just want to, I want to, there's one point I was thinking about, right? And um, we can go into anywhere you guys want to go, but I just want to get this point out. So when I was watching that video, right, one of the things that made, in my opinion, that made him feel uncomfortable was the public arena. Mm. So I just want to get your, your thoughts on whether it's because this happened in public. Did I just drop off? No, no. Yeah, yeah, oh, sorry. yeah. If 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 it's because it happened in public, there's an extra element to it, or just the whole thing. Your your views would have been the same, whether it was in your living room, just yeah. the two of you, or whether it happened in Oxford Street or in the middle of the O2. Or yeah. Whatever. So for me, I think it's personally it's the public element because mm. it's like he's being pressured to expedite a process or being pressured to enter into something that he would maybe react to differently behind closed doors. So when I proposed to uh, my now wife, she always said to me she did not want to be proposed to in a restaurant because it's just mm. so much pressure. Not that she was planning to say no, but just in terms of our <laughs> relationship, it's not public, you know, yeah. she'll prefer something a little bit more intimate. intimate. So I mm. think if a woman proposed to me, I'd say let's have a conversation about this. Just tell me why you think this is <laughs> this is the right thing for you to do. Go on, Carl. But this this is the thing I was going to say to you before. Women have been proposing to men for years. It mm. just doesn't come with a ring and a bended knee because amount, the amount of times you would have had come to mm. these conversations. I'm I'm not sure how your thought how, how your relationships work. But did, at any point before you propose, your wife say I'm ready for us to to settle down and be together? Um, so I'll, I'll, for me, not in those terms, but I think in terms of actions and the nature of your conversation, the things you start, you know, planning forward and, you know, like if and when we have kids or, you know, we should maybe live here or we should do this. I think the, the nature of the conversation start to change where I think it's um, sort of implied doesn't have to be in my head anyway, it's implied that we'll get married. And that's me knowing my wife, knowing, what she likes, dislikes, would do, wouldn't do, etc. And to, to your point, Carl, I have no um, hesitation that my wife would never propose. That if it wasn't up to me, we would not be married. <laughs> she, she, um, I, I don't know why, but I think for her, she like, if, if I'm on such a long thing and we're having these conversations, I'm still not doing what she feels I need to do. We probably wouldn't be together, but that's just... That's yeah, just so would she leave you, would she sit on it? That's the same, would she leave you, would she sit on it? In... Again, we'll, we'll, we'll get her on one day, but I think my my interpretation is that if she felt that I wasn't acknowledging her worth and she puts part of her worth in the sense of 
having the title of a wife, I think she would have then gone elsewhere. Um, and again, Marlon, I'm not sure if that's what you were alluding to, um, in terms of like your little one, if, if she didn't feel like she was being respected and treated in that way, then maybe she would go and go where she feels that should right, be treated correctly. And rightly or wrongly, I believe that's how I raise her. Mm, this is the next thing. If you raise, if you and your wife have raised your, your daughter to be the confident, intelligent, gregarious person that she's going to be, is it not? Is it not possible that she will take on the mantle of taking responsibility for what she wants and say, you know what, I'm not going to wait. I don't need the man to ask me to prove my worth or to do whatever. I'm going to go and ask him. I'm not because I've been told in my house when I want something, I have to go and get it. So, mm. are we not also denigrating free will and independence and positivity by saying that a man has to validate her by asking her that question? If he doesn't do it, then he's not a man. For asking her, my 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 wife deserves to be subjugated to being asked the question if she's ready to settle down. Marlon. Somewhat, somewhat, but I believe, I believe that there's a different way to get to your, or there are different ways, should I say, to get to your goal. You can propose, you can have the conversation to say, you know what, I'm ready for marriage now. Where are you? What do you think? And then I think it's, it also comes back to, I guess, a bit more of a deeper question. What do you think love is? And do you think that there's one person for you in the world? Or do you Oof. think there's several people and you just connect at, at different times? Bro, why are we right. getting techie right. like this, Marley? It's polygamy now, yeah? It's polygamy now, yeah? I think we've got techie enough with Lito's <laughs> incredibly deep question there. Like, mm. bro, that's a really, really good point that I think that, that we're raising these, like, middle class, entitled, not entitled, but more entitled than we were, that mm. we're raising these kids now is, is indicative of the fact that they won't feel like they need to adhere to the, to the gender norms and conventions yeah. that we felt and i think that's a good thing bro genuinely mm -hmm. i think that's a good let, thing let me, let, let me flip this a little bit so marlon marlon's obviously spoken about being you know the father of the daughter concept but cam carl and i mean we've got sons so let's flip it so <laughs> I, guess, I don't know how to phrase my question but number one what would we what would be and what should we be teaching our sons um and I guess how would we react if the guy in the video was was our son? Is that um, a reflection on our potential failings in quotes? I, I don't know how to turn the question, but what, what do you think if that is your son in that video, reflecting on yourself in terms of your, your lessons as a father? How how would you interpret that? Carl, I'll go to you, you first. So can I just um, could I just build could I just build on the question? Go for it. Just more simplistically, if your son came home and said that my partner, my girlfriend, had just proposed to me. How would you feel? So I was going to ask, but I think I, I always want to put the cameras go first, but I'm happy to go first if, if need be. Um, I would say that, you know, by that time, I, I don't think I'll care. Bro. I really don't think mm. I'll care because I think I said to you a lot before offline about a piece of uniform that my son took to school the other day. <laughs> um, and I don't have the... I'm confident enough that if he's happy, that's all that I'm really, I need, I need, need to worry about. I don't need to worry about if he proposes or she proposes or if they live unmarried or whatever. I don't care. As long as he's happy and he's set and he's comfortable, and he's, and he's behaving in a way that isn't harming anybody. By the time I'm 50 or whatever, I, don't, I, have, I have more important things to worry about than whether or not someone's asking the question. If you want to wear a ring or not, or whatever else. These kids are wearing skinnier and skinnier jeans as the time goes and wearing things that we even know <laughs> So if I'm worried if he's got a diamond in his ring, it's the thing. The thing about the ring, just to go back to it, is that I don't, I don't really wear jewellery like that. I haven't worn mm. jewellery since I was like 18. I used to have like the biggest zirconia or diamond in my ear and a little silver chain or a little chaps. But I don't do that anymore. I wear a watch mm. and a ring. And my, my, mm. wrong, my, my ring doesn't even match my watch anymore. So I don't mm. even care anymore. Do you know what I mean? So for me, I don't think I'd be bothered. I'd be happy that he's found someone that that wants to spend the rest of life with each other. So 
yeah, I'm I'm easy. Find that yeah. door, so. I think I think for me, similar to Lito, man. I, I listen. There's in 2021. There's um, there's bigger hurdles and obstacles that I need to be concerned about for my son. <laughs> If I'm honest, mm. than than yeah. the the semantics of how we got married and like whether he got emasculated by his missus, but I, I think I'd be more concerned about the fact that they hadn't had that conversation and that, that was a surprise. They were like, mm. "Why are you on about son? You never, you yeah. You, you couldn't you couldn't front load this conversation with your <laughs> with your partner. Like, what's what's going on with mm. that? So I don't know. I think there's more important. There, there's other. If we were to go down on the on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, there's other priorities that I have for for my son above the semantics of mm. how he got together with his with his with his future wife and all this stuff. But I think I think we're, what we're dealing here with is is emasculation, man. If, if we get down to the crux of it, I think that's why I have a a knee jerk reaction to it. I'm like, oh, a, a combination of it being in public because I'm predominantly quite private and then that combined yeah. with the fact that the woman's doing something that's not traditional right and he feels emasculated in public he's like oh what what's going on here so i think it's the combination of the two things that causes the outrage two questions first i want to hear what you've got to say marvin so obviously you you've got a son as well but what you said there Karen, about being emasculated and you can add this to your answer as well marvin is do you feel vicariously emasculated if your son oh, is being that's, emasculated? That's, that's good. I like that question. Wow. That's, wow. Good. So, yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> so um, on fire. Fire in the beef. <laughs> right, okay. I don't even know which part to start. First of all, I think I echo what Carl's saying. Probably, I, I feel like I, I wouldn't care. Um, again, there's so many facets to being a father of a, of a son, that that little, I don't even know what percentage that's um, prescribed to it, is, is so minuscule. I think if they're sort of confident in their self, maybe they've got their sort of career going on, they've got good morals, good principles. I, I interpret that situation as one of timing. So if his partner at the time is just a bit less patient or more impatient, maybe that, those are not the right terms to use, but whatever it is, she decided to, to jump the gun but ultimately he's happy. When they're celebrating their 50 year wedding, wedding anniversary, it won't matter who sort of got that ball rolling. Um, and again, on that basis, if that happened, I don't think I would be emasculated. I know what my journey was. And again, I would know the sort of principles and the lessons I've taught him. Because if I think about it, I don't think my dad ever told me how to propose or anything. I don't, I'm not sure if that's a lesson that fathers even teach their sons anyway. So the fact that it wouldn't happen how I might have dreamt it to happen, I don't think is a reflection on anything I did or didn't do. Um, so what, what do you think about that, Cam? You, you know what, bro, as you're talking now, I don't, I, don't, I don't want my son to feel vicariously emasculated from me. <laughs> I, bro, I think, I'll be, I, think, I think I'd have to have a word with myself in terms of the way that I'm raising him, if... When he's like 25 years old, he's like, he's like having a word with his mates and he's like, oh, I couldn't do that because dad would just be like, I, I, I don't think we've progressed, no pun intended, enough if that's the conversations that my son's having with his brethren. Oh, my dad could never, I could never do that for my dad would just go on too much. He's like 2021, lads, man, I'm, mm. I'm trying over here still. So I just think, mm. um, I, I, to answer the question, Lito, probably. <laughs> I might feel a little bit emasculated by careless list. If I'm honest, mm. I just I don't I don't know, man. I'm still too traditional, and mm. I, I think there is something there is romance rooted in the conventional mm. norms that mm. drive a man getting down on one knee and proposing to his wife. But doesn't that, but that's doesn't just... convention and norm take away from romance? Romance is meant to be spontaneous and relevant and specific. And if it's a quote of conve normal convention, then almost it's not romantic. It's almost robotic. No, I suppose it depends on it depends on the dynamics between you. It depends on who you're proposing to, Lito. This, yeah. this is why you're gonna have to get tech in very specific to the relationship, mm. right? Okay, you could even be talking about. So we're talking about a traditional heterosexual relationship. We're talking about a homosexual. It, there's, there's you, mm. you know what I mean. You open up the mm. gamut, and there's bare yeah. different parameters mm. and permutations. Mm. So you've got to be specific. Mm. Even if you're so supposing my son ends up with with a with a lady that's always dreamt of proposing to mm. her man. 
So that's techie then. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Like, you just, you know what I mean? Am I going to be that offended and so, so rooted in my 1980s baby business that I'm going to take offense? That's her dream. That's what she's always mm -hmm. wanted. So mm -hmm. like, that, it, you've just got to factor in different permutations and parameters per the situation. I think. Lastly, I'm going to ask, I'm going to, I'm just going to ask you Marvin a question because I think you've asked Cam and I questions about how we build our, our sons and you've asked Marlon about his daughter. You're the only person who has boys and girls as, as kids. So mm -hmm. the the answer that you supplied to your to your son and the things that are more important, do you have, do you share the same feelings about your daughters and about whether they will be proposed to or they propose? So yeah, um, good question. My preference, which ultimately doesn't matter, would obviously be for tradition to um you know, continue going forward as NASA to carry on tradition. That's my preference. Yeah. Um, in in an ideal world, I think if my daughters were planning to go against tradition, I'd like to think we have the relationship where they can come and speak to me and say, this is what I'm thinking of. Um, and I'd really like to understand the drivers behind it because mm -hmm. honestly, outside, I've said patience and impatience. I know it's not that simple, but that's just easy for me to articulate. If it wasn't, if it wasn't a sort of a body clock thing, or just I want to do this because all my friends are getting married. If they had like really solid reasons, I don't think. I, first of all, I can't tell them what to do any at that big age when they're thinking of marriage. Sure. But if I if I'm comfortable in my heart that there are good reasons for for doing it, then I'll just again like we would probably do for all of our children, irrespective of gender. You kind of just have to support them. But again, I'll go on record and say my preference is for my son to do it how I did it and for my daughters to follow how their mum got engaged. But again, at the 50th wedding anniversary, if they're happily married with their own kids, ultimately I won't give, I won't care. <clears throat> <laughs> how would you how so, would you man can I ask another question? How would I'm yeah. gonna 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 submit this to all three of you? How would you have reacted were you that dude in that in that circumstance? Oxford Street, yeah like your current wives let's rewind back a few years now get down on one knee have the little man engagement mm. ring in that how are you re reacting real time what words are coming out your mouth i'll come to you I'll come can to i you go first, first? Go, go for it marvin still so uh <laughs> you know i'm always a guy that's like oh we've spoken about social media it's deep because when when how long have i been married 10 years right mm. so at the time there was no one the people's first instincts weren't to record this and put this on Insta. So, you know, before the words have left my mouth, my auntie in New York is not seeing this. So there's no extra pressure. So I will feel to avoid embarrassment, assuming this is the lady I want to marry. That's the first assumption, yeah? Mm. And I might, to avoid the embarrassment or whatever, just let's handle this situation. So if that's me saying yes, but I would, I'd, I'd like to think I'd have the conversation and say, look, this is not in line with how I wanted to do it. I still want to do it properly. You've got my commitment, but this isn't our official engagement kind of thing. Like I did that to sort of save you the embarrassment. I would hope, I would hope, no, no hold on. I would hope that conversation is received as I intended to sort of communicate it. And then I think to myself, okay, I need to get my skates on. But it's, it's all hypothetical, isn't it? I. Mm. I don't think I would tell her no in that moment, embarrass her again, if you don't add the social media element to it. But again, like, I, I don't know, for me, I'm, I'm big on tradition. So mm -hmm. I'd like to feel like I'm the one to have sort of triggered this engagement process. And then we can move on from there. Um, it's what, interesting what you, you use the term, you'd like to do it properly True. to suggest yeah. that a woman proposing right. to a man is not the proper way of of doing things. So I think mm. just just to answer the question, I think for me, I just really like to understand the drivers. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> have a big old discussion in the middle of. <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't know how 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 I would respond. I think firstly, I would be very 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 shocked. Mm. Um, but again, you know, you the question was, like my wife now, I always knew that I wanted to marry her. So then should it actually be an issue? You know, oh. what difference does it make if she does it or if I do it? But because mm -hmm. of how I've been raised mm -hmm. and how I view myself as a man, 
I would want to propose to my wife, even if we've had a discussion and she said, this is the ring I want. Uh, I want to do it on our third anniversary, blah, 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 blah. It's still me being proactive rather than being reactive. So just imagine being in this nice restaurant and your wife, lovely dress, hair done, nails done, gets down on one knee and proposes to you. Ah. Uh, Marley, you've you've uh, that was a beautiful dance routine that you've just done verbally still yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's uh, and it's ironic that you, you you paint this beautiful picture but but yet and still you're questioning your brother's semantic saying proper yeah that, that's the type of thing what you're talking about Eddie. but go on what's, it, what's your answer marley what are you saying no because it, it i'm talking to our biases isn't it of like what mm. we think is right and what we think is wrong or what we think is the best thing and what we think is the wrong thing so for me like i say like i would love to just be able to in that moment so, Let's yeah. just have a little conversation. Really want to understand what, what, what this is about. You thought the camera's up, rolling. Would you bring her up off her knees and say, look, let's just have a little, a little tete-a-tete? Or would you just say, well, yeah, this is... you just saying? In that situation, stop dancing. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I'm just that. like, where, where, where did this come from? Definitely, <laughs> I, you know, before, before I answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's an interesting one. I just... Yeah, I, d- I don't know what I, I, I would I would do, but with that extra lens of social media, you'd also not want to be that couple that goes viral, like mm-hmm. that guy that you see on his wedding day at the front of the altar, and he's like crying. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, and I don't want my missus to be to be that. It's really funny. It's, it's okay. I've got an answer. It's really funny though because I was at your wedding. Um, uh, Marlon, I was at your wedding, and I know you like to be a center of attention sometimes. So it's really interesting that you had that thing because you, you, you guys had a beautiful wedding, but there was there were some actions that was like these are memories mm-hmm. that are gonna live live forever. So yeah, but it was again, us. It was us. It wasn't I get me. that. I see it. I see it there. But you bust the first note. But anyway, we'll we'll go next. We'll go next. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if that was me, how would I film? What would I do? I would feel shocked because I'd be really shocked, really like probably like, oh my god, I'd be proper shocked because we would have we would have had a conversation about it where maybe I would have let her know that that's not really what I feel comfortable with. So it would have, the shock would have been even more on top. I don't think I've had a conversation where I've said to her, "Don't propose to me." So it wouldn't have been mm. like you've embarrassed me, but it would be like, "Rare, I feel really uncomfortable." Um, I feel uncomfortable because. When we proposed to our partners, when I proposed to my partner, she was shocked. She was still like, "Oh my god, like what's happening? All these questions." Mm-hmm. And we, we knew where we were, but so I don't know how, you know, how we do that. And also, it makes us think when we propose to people, what are we expecting them to say, other mm-hmm. than yes straight away. But it's 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 a big question. Would I have said yes? Um. <laughs> you, need to, you need to. I wouldn't have said, to, I to I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said no. <laughs> I wouldn't have said no. I wouldn't have said, like, I'm not marrying you because yeah. I've already in my mind at that point where I think we know what we want. But would I have said yes? It's a different question. I would have said yeah. maybe, of course. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. That's great. So, Mike comes over there. I don't know. Oh gosh, but, but one thing that happened for sure is that that video never would have been coming out. Never would have been coming out. The video event because, for me, if I go on, sorry, Lito, sorry. Because we have, when, when we proposed, our proposal has been documented. But we did it in a way that was that it was amazing. But I'm not gonna let someone else be in that intimate situation with us. It doesn't really seem right, and I wouldn't want her to do that to me. Um, it's got to be our choice. So that video will never be going up. I probably would say yes, and then we talk about it later on. But yeah, I, I yeah, because I would like to propose. So I would have felt pre- pretty upset and embarrassed that I didn't. I didn't secure the bag earlier. No, I can see, I can see the discomfort in your um. Just, just <laughs> I didn't either. The body yeah, 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 like yeah. I can. I'm, I'll be honest. There's a yeah, lot. Of, there's I a lot of, uh, I'm with you, by the way. There's a lot of buzzwords in there, man. What would I have said? <laughs> if I think, depending, depending on whether I'd, I'd had my wheat bix that morning, I might. Have <laughs> One of two things is happening. Yeah, either I'm gonna just get mad and just be like, "Now, nah, what's this? That's a disrespect." <laughs> 
I love time, you know. Oh, now nah, depending on what day you catch me, or oh, I might just say, you know what, like, I want to be married to this woman, and, mm. and that, the house, the house are subordinate to the what's and it take it. It's not how I envisioned it, but let's let's go, let's do mm, this yeah. thing, man. Put mm. the ring on my finger, and I hope it's time to get crusted. Put it on. I should have trivialized, yeah. That's mad. All right, let's 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 wrap it up. Um, I really enjoyed that chat mm. because um, again, look, I didn't do too much research, but again, I had a bit more time to sort of prepare mentally, and I, I did come to the conclusion that ultimately, long term, it doesn't matter. But for me, it's not for me. Uh, so th those are my sort of closing thoughts. Um, let me go reverse order, Marlon. Closing thoughts. Yeah, no, similarly. So what is for everyone doesn't have to be for me. Um, and I just think as what I view myself as a man, there's certain things that I want to do. Cool. I'm proposing um, to my future wife as one of them. Cool. Carl, closing thoughts? Yeah, I think it's a really interesting conversation. I think as we get older and time moves on, these things will be less and less the case. There was a time before when we didn't even exchange rings. Mm. That started happening really around the World War where it was more of a promise when I get back, you'll be there. Yeah. And this is like almost a branding, a securing of the securing of the bag for when I get back, putting the wife on layaway. But for me, <laughs> I wanted to for me You're about I to get cancelled. <laughs> for me that's not, that, that's how it used to work in the in, in, in the UK in the in the in the thirties and forties. That's what it was, that's what engagement rings were about. It was a dowry. It was a material yeah. dowry. Um, so for me, I'm happy that I got to, to propose. If my son wants to do what he wants to do, and do whatever. But I'm just looking forward to all the interesting conversations when you guys, kids, are proposed or get proposed to, and I'll be bringing this out for the receipts. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't come. Final, final thoughts. Cool. I just think hashtag gender the fluid gender dynamics right so 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 moving goalposts in 2021 and by the time our little ones are ready to get married the goalposts will have moved even further um mm. so i just I, I suppose development points for cameraman i just want to try and be as progressive as possible going into 2021 and beyond because i know the foibles and the failings of of like who i am and driven off the back of my parents i don't want those, those to drip feed down to my son so mm. i hope I hope that, like I said earlier, that my son's not having these conversations, conversations with his partner and brethren say, I could never do that because my dad will just go off it because he's, he's, too, he's too much of a philistine. So that, that's what I hope doesn't happen. Fair enough. All right, guys. Um, thanks again for your time. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. And um, see you on the next podcast. Peace. 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 Oh, comes at the end of the day.